The next feature that I want to talk about is the new dashboard progressive web app. All right, so you're looking at my phone now, and I am going to show you um, the dashboard from uh, the mobile phone. And in 236, we did a lot of work to make sure that the dashboard that you're seeing on the web will also be performant and render properly when you bring it onto a smartphone. So in this case, what you can see is I'm just going to, I'll show you the entire order of operations here. We're going to go to, um, I've, you see I've logged into play.dhis2.org. And right now I'm looking at the dashboard on my phone and because I'm in portrait mode, I am seeing all of the dashboard items rendered vertically. So they're kind of one on top of each other. And I can scroll through here and see all those dashboard items. Uh, you see what the dashboard actually looks like right behind my phone screen um, on, the, on the web version. At the top of it, we have our dashboard menu. So you can see I can scroll through my various dashboards here, move in between my dashboards. Underneath that, we have the ability to star a dashboard as we've always had. In our mores option, we have three options here available, star, dashboard, show description, and print. So I can print directly from my phone if your phone's connected to a, to a printer. Um, or of course you can save it as a PDF uh, through the print option as well. Uh, within each dashboard item, you see that I have my same items, my same options that I had in the web version. So table, maps, interpretations, and view full screen. And I can go and view full screen on my phone. Uh, a little bit cramped here in this particular chart, but you can see the functionalities, at least as an example. If I now turn my phone into yeah, landscape mode, you see now the dashboard on the phone is rendering or displaying similarly to how it shows on the, um, on the web version of DHIS2. And you also see that I have additional options here at the top of the dashboard. For example, I can edit my dashboard and I have all of the same edit functionalities that I do in a, in a normal dashboard on the web, but just here on my phone. So I can add things, change the layout, et cetera, add descriptions. I also have my, uh, my filters, so I can now filter the dashboard items. And what if I wanted to actually have this show up as more similar to an application on my phone? I, you know, I didn't want to go into Chrome or Safari or whichever web browser that you're using on your phone every time I wanted to look at a dashboard. Well, that's very easy. And, and all these dashboard, excuse me, and all these um, web browser apps that are available for phones, almost all of them have an option to add a web page to your home screen. So I'm going to click add to home screen and you're going to see it's going to pop up here and get, make, force me to give it a name. So DHIS2 dashboard is fine. It makes sure that it has an icon and now it's added to my home screen. So if I now rotate back to my normal phone, I'm going to scroll over and now you see here, oh, there we are. Now you see here the dashboard has been added as an looks and fills as an application directly to my home screen. So I'm going to click on that and it takes me as a shortcut right into the web browser to look at my dashboard. Um, so this gives you all the power, powerful features of the dashboard in the convenience of your cell phone. So you can take it on the go, you can share data in the field, uh, um, a really a powerful step in, in being able to communicate and share data in DHIS2. Right now, this in the, in the initial release of 236, this only works online. So if your phone were to be offline, you would not be able to show your dashboard. We are coming out with a new version, hopefully in the next several weeks, to be able to store or cache some analytics offline on your phone so that you would be able to see some um, dashboards that you had seen previously and then gone offline, you would be able then to see them offline.